Place a female bean beetle into the dissecting dish in the PBS. And then you're going to use the larger size forceps to grab the beetle. Grab the abdomen with one set of forceps and the head end with the other forceps. And you want to try to get the beetle onto its back and then pull the abdomen away from the head and thorax. The abdomen is what contains the ovaries. Once you've removed the head, take it out of the dissecting dish, dab your forceps tip onto a Kim wipe, make sure that you get all of the head and leg portion out of the dissecting dish. Then you want to use the sharper forceps and a probe to break open the shell. It might be helpful to use the probe to hold the abdomen down and use the sharp forceps to break the shell open and allow the ovaries to come out into the PBS. Gently tease the tissue away from the shell. Remove all the shell parts. Now you'll notice that there's a lot of cloudiness and debris and you want to get rid of that so that you can see the ovarials a little bit better. You can take a pasture pipette tip and begin to suck the fluid away by running the pasture pipette tip around the outside edge of the dissecting dish. If you add a yellow micro pipette tip which has a smaller bore that might make it easier for you to suck up the fluid without sucking out the ovarials. The ovarials are the gray strand like things with little bulbous projections shown in the circled areas. Continue to suck out the excess debris and eggs. Now you're going to want to increase the magnification so that you can see the ovarials a little bit better and then refocus the microscope. You'll then want to push everything into the center of the dissecting dish. And you can see that those gray strand like things are the ovarials. There are three ovarials which are circled. And these are two eggs that have been circled. You want to keep the ovarials, the gray-like strands with the bulbous projections, and you want to get rid of the eggs, which are the oval-shaped components. Continue to tease the tissue away from the ovarials. Once you've removed all the tissue and you have mostly ovarials left, you can again suck out some of the excess debris, eggs, and cloudiness. You want to be careful 
that you don't suck up the ovarials in the process. Whoops, I've just sucked up some ovarials. If you do that, you can try to squirt them back into the dish and just keep on going. Again, here is where using the small board yellow micropipette tip might be helpful for you. And when you finish your dissection, hopefully you'll have about five to seven nice ovarials and you can begin your staining. Otherwise, you may need to dissect an additional bean beetle.